Good afternoon, it is David Schlothauer here in the Home Weather Office with another severe weather briefing for May the 6th, 2023. In this video, we are going to be discussing about some pretty intense thunderstorms that are anticipated over the High Plains, including for the Midwest over the next couple of days. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at is our HRRR model or High Resolution Rapid Refresh model. This is a meso model, one of my best tools to use as far as tracking severe weather is, as far as seeing if we're going to have any spin-ups or anything that could be quite concerning uh, in the short term. By the way, this is not a global model, so I want to make you all aware of that. So this is for 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and what we're looking for here is simulated reflectivity amounts to exceed, say, 60 to 70. Uh, we do have some thunderstorms that are going to be starting up here uh, this afternoon, and I am going to be live streaming for that reasoning because we are talking about significant damaging winds. Uh, that's a 30 sig, by the way, and a 30 sig for very large hail and a 5% chance for tornadoes in the um, Missouri, Iowa, kind of that area that we're watching. So today is a live stream activation day here on the channel. So going forward, this is going to be for about, uh, this is 8 o'clock tonight. Some very strong thunderstorms that do fire up here across the Red River into, say, uh, near Abilene, Texas, Vernon, Texas. We could be seeing uh, maybe 75 plus mile an hour damaging wind gusts, including the chances for an isolated tornado and some very large hailstones that could exceed two and three inches in diameter. So if you're doing anything outdoors today, um, especially this evening, if you're out with a family member, if you're out with a friend, really watch the weather because things are going to be changing today. Skies are clear, everything, it's a beautiful day, but it's going to turn stormy this evening into the early overnight hours. And if you're caught out in this, be very significant. This continues all the way into the overnight hours. So right around midnight tonight for your early Sunday morning, we have a, uh, a very mini, um, kind of a very intense MCS on a micro scale here, that bowing out structure, that banana shape. A illustration of very strong winds that could exceed, again, 75 miles an hour. We also have some broken showers and thunderstorms up here across Illinois and portions of Iowa uh, for this um, evening into the overnight hours. And this continues all the way into tomorrow. And then uh, once that ends, we have more storms that look to fire up here over Missouri, over southern Illinois, southern Indiana. And the same thing happens. We get these Boeing structures by tomorrow afternoon and more storms develop again over Iowa. It's that pulsating effect that we are very familiar with when it comes to extreme instability. And speaking of extreme instability, let's take a look at our CAPE numbers today. Now, I'm not saying extreme just to um, scare you all. This is extreme. Anything above about 4,500 to 5,000 joules uh, per kilogram of thunderstorm juice, into simple words here so you all to understand, is simply extreme instability uh, or extreme in, um, destabilization or destabilize, destabilization, there we go. A little bit of a tongue twister there. So we can see clearly um, why I'm concerned about today, especially over Oklahoma and Texas, these CAPE numbers here, anywhere between 4,000 to 5,000 joules per kilogram. Again, this is thunderstorm juice. So simply the more juice you have that I have circled here in black, the stronger the updrafts could potentially become that could produce the largest hail that could exceed two, three, maybe four inches in diameter and 70 plus mile an hour wind gusts. So in to simple terms, this is your thunderstorm fuel that uh, updrafts like to use to produce some of the strongest thunderstorms. Our updrafts are taller and deeper, more explosive, and that's what we're looking for today. Another feature and another tool that I like to use is our 80 meter wind speed forecast. This is at two 
a hundred feet and some of you are probably asking me why don't use the 10 meter wind this is what we call our clean set um strong wind layer that we like to look at so assuming that there's no tall buildings around that disturb the air this is what I like to use. It's it's a more cleaner version of the estimation of how strong these winds are going to be. And so we can see here by this afternoon, once these storms really start blowing up, we can see some very intense sustained winds here, anywhere between 30 to 50 miles an hour. Gusts, again, could exceed that of maybe 75 miles an hour, enough to take down trees, power lines, that sort of thing. And those winds continue to be a problem across the southeastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, into Arkansas, even into early tomorrow morning. So a big wind damage threat does exist with these storms too. Therefore, the Storm Prediction Center felt that it was better to go enhanced today over north central Texas, the Red River Valley in Oklahoma, including for central Texas as well. This is a level three out of five on the severity weather index scale. As you can see here, there's an orange area. This is driven by only a 2% chance of tornadoes today in this area. So we're not talking about strong tornadoes primarily. We are talking about maybe at least one tornado report or two in the 2% risk, but it's mainly going to be a huge wind threat over this area. 75 plus mile an hour winds and two plus inch hailstones in the significant uh, polygon that is outlined here on the national or on the storm prediction center also it is a good idea that we talk about uh yet tomorrow very quickly there is also an enhanced risk of severe weather in central and southern a uh, portion there of iowa northern missouri eastern nebraska oh wait eastern um yeah eastern nebraska northeastern kansas and western illinois there there's a level three out of five on the severity weather index scale so this is a big deal because we have two enhanced risks to track that means i might be going live again tomorrow on the youtube channel with a briefing in the morning hours or in the early afternoon like this one now before i do close out today's video it's a good idea that we take a look at trilogymaps.com I am incredibly excited to announce that I'm officially an affiliate with TrilogyMaps.com. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Trilogy Maps has created the highest definition, the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price. These maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Making weather maps that look incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code DAVID before finalizing your purchase. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's severe weather briefing for May the 6th, 2023. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll be in the office again today doing a live stream for you all on the YouTube channel. But otherwise, that is going to do it. I'll be back with you more today and tomorrow with more updates on the severe weather.